we're smack back, you know, we're smack, we're, we're, we're smacked right in the middle. Um, shit, dude, fuck, can't even think, man. You know, it, that's whatever, but, you know, it, that's whatever, but they referred to us, uh, it was referred to us by another cat lover slash, uh, it, it was referred to us by another cat worker. Cooking with Calvin, taking it easy edition. Cooking with Calvin, I mean it was just turkey day. Cooking with Calvin, after all I broke a nail. Cooking with Calvin, are you ready for the holidays? Candy canes and Santa Claus. And all those candy things and Christmas trees, presents, things like that. I'm not ready. What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. If you'll notice, I am wearing a full sweater type thing. How many times have you seen me on the show with long sleeves? Probably not that much. Guess what the temperature is here? A nice, cool, brisk. Fifty-five! Fifty-five! Fifty-five degrees, which um, basically, if you're a Texan, is the equivalent of six feet of snow. Yeah, I think it's funny when everyone here is like, oh my god, it's so cold, and it's like, 55. I run hot, so I'm usually in shorts anyways, but it was a little brisk today, still. My idea of cold's a little different, but I don't like the cold. I don't like the hot either. I just, why can't it just be a nice... 72-ish, little bit of wind all the time. Nice little breeze. Hey, did y'all have a good turkey day? I hope so. Or a Cornish hen day. So we call it around here, Cornish, Cornish hen day. I'm exhausted. I know y'all are exhausted. And thanks to everyone that watched the Thanksgiving special. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is going to be kind of an easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl type episode. What I mean by that? We're just, we're just going to you know do what we do. We're just going to do what we do. Have a good time. Doing what it is we are doing. Hey, send me a picture of your turkeys or whatever you cooked. Hopefully it was a Cornish hen. You cooked along with me. Yeah, I broke a nail. It didn't really hurt that bad, but it, it didn't rip off my actual nail. It was more shock than anything, but I thought I'd last longer than like a week. I just go too hard in the paint at work. I had good Thanksgiving, except for the Cowboys loss. That kind of sucked. I think I was just knocked out of the playoff contention in my main league today. I think. I'm pretty sure. Face Leonard Fournette, who just decided to go all the way off against me. It's okay. Everything's fine. Anyways, what are we cooking today, Cal? Had to bring up the energy a bit. We're gonna cook some some shrimps. That's right. We cook a little shrimp. And I know you're thinking, well, it's like uh, late November. Shrimp season? Uh, whatever. So I got a bunch of freaking sides left over uh, from the Thanksgiving special. So we're gonna use those as sides because waste not, want not. I'm cooking from scratch. Nashville hot shrimp. They're gluten free. A great addition to salads, tacos, po' boys. Easy to prepare in the oven, air fryer or deep fryer, and responsibly farm shrimp. Look, guys, I just want to take it easy. I just want to give you a breather after the longest episode I ever released. 34 minutes, I believe, was the Thanksgiving special. Got a lot to talk about. Got real heavy in the middle there for a second, but you know, it was worth it. We're gonna cook these bad boys in the oven at 400 degrees, eight minutes. Okay, uh, gonna be a quick episode. Honestly, I mean, that's cool. I wanna do some sips episodes. Maybe I'll kind of blend this into a sips episode. What y'all think? Let's preheat the oven to 400 degree O. Had a good Cornish hen day, and then it was like right back to work. I mean, I worked on Thanksgiving too. Worked Friday, Saturday, today Sunday, and it's just like shit. Time. It's about to be 2022, y'all. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? The cat! It's your co-star, the cat! Can you believe it's going to be 2022? All right, so look, me and the cat actually kind of had a had an interesting week together. Uh, we got into it the other day. That's right. So I have this friend. You've seen him. Taylor. He was on the Spagooter episode. Go check it out if you haven't. Great guy. Fun 
guy. Nice. I like him. For some reason, every time he comes over, the cat goes into like instinctual feral mode. I don't know what sense you're bringing into this household, Tay Tay, but uh, the cat does not agree with them. So it got to the point where it's like he's hissing as soon as he walks in the door. I don't even have time to like introduce him and try to convince him that Taylor is an okay dude. Unless the cat just senses something we all don't know about Taylor, like maybe he's a serial killer. Are you a serial killer, Tay Tay? Cat, not a fan. And so he got all hissy and everything. It got to the point even when I was walking by, he was hissing. And Papa went into Papa mode because he don't take that from his cat. So he started hissing. So I started hissing. And there was just a bunch of scuffling. I didn't hurt my cat. I'm not a freaking psycho. But I did have the broom in his face just for a bit to show him who was boss. Taylor was like, do you have a water bottle? And I was like, totally do. And I just sprayed his ass with water because he just kept hissing. And then finally we kind of separated. I, you know, calmed down, he calmed down, and the next day I kind of left him alone, he left me alone, but I wasn't going to be the one that came and picked him up first. No, he had to come apologize to me, and it took a bit, but uh, he eventually crawled over into my lap, and then the pets resumed, and then a little bit later I apologized and he apologized. So me and the cat are cool, but we had an interesting bonding type alpha male moment. I mean, it's my house, bro my house but he's my boy i was more hurt than anything oh what happened he bit me yeah he bit my finger uh he went all crazy into feral mode hissing and stuff and so he bit my finger which it looks a lot better now but man it was jammed and real swollen <sighs> my guy little's fine little is just like what's what's going on i love my cats like they're my kids we just bought them a robot litter thing a litter robot which is supposed to be way more super helpful i'll put a link to it in the description below they are expensive like 500 dollars, but it was referred to us by another cat lover slash friend slash co-worker cats and andreas her fiance they kind of were like hey you have cats this will change your life so we're gonna see we hope so it's supposed to be more enclosed so it'll keep them kind of... Because that's the worst thing about cats is the litter box, right? Everything else is pretty copacetic, but this is supposed to help out a lot. So look it up. I'll have a link in the description below. Um, check it out. What, what? What, what? Trying to make things better for the cat. Also got this Feli Way Multi-Cat. It's, it's kind of like an air... It's kind of like an air freshener. Only instead of air freshness, it's like calming cat scents. I don't know how it's going to work. We're gonna plug it in when the robot litter thing gets here. Don't worry, we'll take pics and vids and upload them and you'll see what I'm talking about. Link to the description below. If you have cats and they get a little anxious sometimes, this is supposed to help out. So we'll see, I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, man, I was just like, oh, he hurt me. My boy hurt me, he hurt my feelings. I hurt his feelings. You know, it's that's how you know it's love though. When like you guys can kind of scuffle and still end up together snuggling. Cat's my boy. So what's up, y'all? How is everyone doing? Hope all is well. Oh shit, I forgot this was in the background. I may or may not be cleaning uh, a certain treasure pipe, treasure holder, treasure, treasure thing. Just taking it kind of easy today, you know? I deserve it. You deserve it. We all deserve it. You know? I mean, I can get into some heavy shit again. Y'all like the Rittenhouse rant? What do you want to get into? Climate change and how the world's dying? My faltering fantasy team? I know that's everyone's like top priority is how I'm doing in my fantasy football league. Not well! Oh no! Don't throw up! Hey, buddy! No, 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 no. There you go. Oh. Buddy, buddy. There you go. There you go. That's on the carpet! Okay. Cat just hawking up loogies and shit. Excuse me. Oh my god, bro. Why? Why on the couch, man? You alright, bud? Cat sometimes gets an upset stomach. Again, I've taken him to the vet before. I just don't think he drinks enough water. Drink water, bro. You okay? You feel my guy? It's okay. So I mentioned last episode that I uploaded a popcorner, uh, but it got taken down in like 4.2 seconds. Well, I asked for a review, and I guess since it's a review reaction video, they uh, reposted it. 
I don't know, check it out. I posted a long and a short version, so you can watch the whole movie with me, and uh, shorter version is a little shorter. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to make those better. I'm gonna try to make them better. I need to figure out the footage and how other people are able to like get the exact awesome footage because you can obviously tell that I just recorded mine. <laughs> there, there, you can guys see a reflection in the screen of my house. Uh, whatever, you know, I'm doing the best I can, doing the best I can. CRK85, CRK, welcome donations and all kinds of things. Or if you just want to like send me camera, sound, stuff, equipment, that's cool too. You know, we're just doing the best we can here. That's all we can do, y'all. Oven preheated. I'm going to throw these shrimps on there. These Nashville hot shrimps. Maybe cook some rice. That's probably good, like rice and shrimp. But I got all these sods. Just gonna, we're just gonna use socks. Easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. Hashtag not a sponsor. So this is, you know, I think this is an apt post Thanksgiving day special because no one really likes to cook after Thanksgiving holiday. So this is what you can do. You can go to your local market, buy some prepackaged shrimp, aluminum foil, Calvin. Straighten that out on your thing. You just need a little non-stick. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that butter stuff that Tay Tay, since I mentioned him earlier, brought to his episode, Spagooter. Check it out. I think it's episode like 18 or something. I'll go back and check. Right that shit, isn't it? Ooh, they smell they smell good. And just pour that bag on the thing, however many you think you and your fam, partner, whatever, yourself, cat, believe. And then you just put that shit in the oven for about eight to ten minutes. Cooking with Calvin Special. I'm trying to make y'all's lives easier. I'm trying to make, you know, like, live, laugh, love. Then you just close your cabinet or, or whatnot and stick these back in the freezer. That's it. I've always wanted to cook a goose. Because, you know, like, what's it called? Scrooge? Uh, Christmas Carol? Christmas Story? Christmas Carol Story? Something like that? Christmas Story with Carol? I don't know. Anyways, I've always wanted to cook a goose. Even though I hear they're not that great. They're, like, real tough and shit. Maybe I'll cook a duck. For some reason, I always want duck during Christmas. You don't want a turkey again, you know? Might cook a duck. Might cook a goose. If I can even find one, where do I have a goose? Or if you think of something more holiday s that you want me to make, you want to make gingerbread house? Maybe make a gingerbread house or some shit? Uh, hit me up in the comments. Hit me up at the uh, Instagram at Gypness, and, you know, maybe I'll pick my favorite one if enough people comment and stuff. What beer are you drinking today, Calvin? Glad you asked, guys. This is a Lost Gold IPA. 6.6 .6 alcohol by volume. Uh, pretty tasty, pretty good. Cooking with Calvin approved. I'm not even cutting anything up. I'm not cutting any garlic up, any onion up. Oh shit, the timer just went off. Let's check them, huh? Smell all right. Do a little flippy flip. So I put them in there for 10 minutes. Uh, they probably are ready right now. I like them a little crispy. Uh, maybe like five minutes. And they call it puppy love. Uh, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> you know what else sucks about the fantasy stuff? So like, looking at the scores and the person I'm playing is beating me. But where are the two highest scores in the league this week? So I would have beat anyone else, or at least at the moment would have. Trials and tribulations, my friend. Trials and tribulations. Calvin, you've already won it three times. Let someone else win. No! I want to win it all. Oh, uh, they're probably ready. Definitely more crispy. Glomers. Where is Bond? She's out shopping with a friend. So are you doing a taste test time without her? Oh. Uh, I'm not even going to break out the sides. Y'all saw what I had last time. Oh, you didn't? Then you didn't watch the show. Go back and watch my show. Please. Calvin, I feel like you're phoning it in. Fuck you! I work so hard for this channel. No, I love y'all. Y'all are great. I just figure let's, uh, let's take a break, you know? Let's take, take a break. We deserve it. And this is still going to be good. All right, so I don't know when Bond's going to get home. Uh, so I'm going to A, do a taste test time by myself. Just in case she comes home way, way, way late. 
So until then, it's taste test time with Alphon. Just me. I love you, babe. I love you too, babe. You're so fucking hot and the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you so much. God, you're so great. Oh, if everyone else just knew how great you are. Wow, thanks, Bond. That means... That means so much coming from you. Oh, y'all don't kiss like that? Clank! We're not crazy, you're crazy. Woo! Hot. Mmm. That's really good. It's actually pretty spicy. Yeah. All right, not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> Can you? There's, there's steam, I promise. Well, if Bomb doesn't come home at any point soon, uh, thanks for joining us on this incredibly short show. I imagine when I get done editing, it'll be like four minutes. I love y'all, I'll see you next week. Be thinking of what you want me to do for the holiday special, okay? Because I'm going to make that big. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm so freaking awkward and weird, but it's cool. Right?